Zero Degrees North, Zero Degrees West is a surreal exploration game where um, during a cross-country road trip you're stranded in this little mysterious town where you find this old movie theater that just takes you through this extra-dimensional walkabout um, through many different worlds. And I guess the only objective um, would be to find a way back into that small town so you can continue your cross-country road trip. But it's really just about exploring and enjoying these completely surreal and otherworldly scapes. It was really a um, like a confluence of different ideas and inspirations that all of a sudden um, one day I just had to do it in a way. You know, it's there was like many things slowly bubbling until one day I was just like, I have to make this, and the idea just like fell and and, and I started working on it full time. But um, one of the biggest things is that um, I was in many ways I was getting tired where with gaming where it was in um, it was 2013 when I first started. It's, uh, I, I was almost about to honestly stop playing games because every game was the same. It was go here, do that, you know, it was all about stats, level up. You know, every other game started using the same menus. It was just, just very uh, formulaic, you know, and the, the one thing that I love most about gaming was being in another world because it's, it's one of those mediums that really gives you that opportunity that I don't think any other, you know, human can creation gives you and, and I love having those moments with games but late, at the time I was just I wanted to do that but I had to level up because otherwise people would kill me or I had to go through all these different hoops so so that was a, 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 the, one of the biggest inspirations was just making a game where you just you you're, it's just a vacation in a way you know you're you're there as a tourist you don't necessarily have to do anything you just you just you're there It's a difficult game to explain and get people to to start playing, but if they see it and they see other people playing it, they instantly want to play it. And once they start playing it, they, they instantly understand it. Sometimes some people call it aggressive visuals or very surreal. Once you start playing it, it's, it's a very calming experience. And I think that you need to experience it first before realizing um, to really understand what the game is about. When you bring it into words, it's, it's you know, there's like a bit of a disconnect that, that is hard to translate. I mean, we've been through like the whole evolution of games and we've been seeing this, this constant um, trying to reach photorealism, at least that's what I've seen in games. You, you know, you slowly, not not with the indie scenes as much, but with the AAA games as we were growing up, you know, graphics got better, hardware got better, and it was this like perfect interplay between hardware and software and trying to make like the most realistically uh, possible engines um, that could be made. Why not also not follow that same path? Why should I do something photorealistic? Why not should I go like totally the other direction and make something more, you know, innovative in a different sense? You know, maybe grab something from cartoons, grab something from modern art. And uh, so that was the, the big inspiration is that from the beginning, I tried to make uh, a, a different aesthetic for the, for the game. So I explored with many different ways to how to approach this and um, and, and the biggest inspiration was the, the, the modern art in the 20th century. Like at the beginning, like futurism, cubism, deconstructivism, uh, all the isms, you know? <laughs> and I, I just like going to the museum and, and looking at those paintings, like with all those like sharp angles and geometric forms. And they're all like very powerful, you know, with the colors and the, the proportion. And I was like, man, that would be so cool if we could like walk through one of those paintings. So I was always interested in mixing, you know, art and architecture. And I felt like video games with music was like the perfect combo.
I think it's like one of the biggest things we've invented, you know, and it's just a, an excellent medium to, to make anything.